Hello everyone, it's Tasha Rose with Radical Mothering. I am coming at you today with a video about American history and what I use for history curriculum. And this comes as a question that was asked on Twitter and on Instagram and on comments in my last video. Um, the, the open collaboration that I did with a Catholic Marathon mom. Um, and so a lot of people ask the question what I use, so I'm going to show you. So of course I have multiple levels that we're teaching all at once. We have um, a freshman in high school, and we have a sixth grader, and we have a third grader, and we have a first grader, and we have a pre-K kindergartner, and then the baby. So I'm gonna use a whole bunch of different sources and ignore, I want you to ignore this. I'm in the middle of cleaning a few things and the kids are outside and the neighbor just finished mowing. So it's the perfect time. Um, okay, so I just wanna show you some generally random things that we do use to um, kind of hone concepts in and they're literature based. So we use this book, American Tall Tales. This is one of the books that we'll read during a tea time. And it has just some retelling of different American Tall Tales, Feebold Feeboldson, Moe's, um, there's Johnny Appleseed, and let's see, there's Sally Ann, Thunder Ann, Whirlwind, Davy Crockett. Um, there's a few in here, you get it, Paul Bunyan, of course, that goes well with our Minnesota history as well. So you get the idea, though. They're, they're just tall tales that um, get got spun around the country, and so we make use of this during tea time. Another great one that I super duper love is this um, American History in Verse by Bert Stevenson, and it has poem after poem after poem after poem after poem after poem after poem, after poem of American history. And so whatever we happen to be learning, I'll pick and that will be something that we read during tea time that week. Um, so this is, I mean, this is a really incredible book. It's by BJU Press. Um, it's kind of a spendy book, but worth it. So get that. Um, another new one that we have not used yet and I'm super excited about, I just got it. If you saw my Instagram this week, you will have seen it. It's the North American Martyrs Kids Activity Book. So as we learn about different geographic areas, we will also learn about different martyrs in those geographic areas and do some activities with them. So this is a really great book. I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to get to using it. Another um, lit-based curriculum that I use, and Connor doesn't actually call it a curriculum, but I call it a curriculum because I think that it really can be an entire curriculum. The Tuttle Twins, you guys have heard me talk about the Tuttle Twins a million bajillion times. I am an affiliate for Tuttle Twins and I'll leave my link in the description box. But this is one of the best series that I've ever gotten for the children and I'm missing three of the books right now. Somebody's off reading them. But uh, there are 11 books in the the early series and there are three books in the, the preteen series. I did just order the 11th book so that's on its way and I just ordered the preteen series. They're both they're all three a choose your own adventure book but these are really good to teach kids about the basics of economics and uh, freedom and liberty so we love these and you know there's lots of there's a couple of or there is a Facebook group that you can join about the Tuttle Twins that you can bounce ideas for adding to the curriculum off of other parents. So like this one's one of my favorite books, The Miraculous Pencil. I love this book and I like to accompany it with there's a book or there's a, a documentary about pencils. I'll link that in the description too because it is so amazing and I love pencils. Pencils are my favorite tool and um, I've got some really cool pencils coming actually in the mail today. Um, but these books, they come with a whole set of digital downloads too that you that incorporate other um, activities, recipes, uh, essays, projects, service projects, coloring pages. So, so you know, you can read these books out loud or your kids can read them independently. But if you read them out loud, even your toddlers and your preschoolers can get involved because they can, you know, take a hold of a coloring page and color the coloring page while you're telling the story about the law, which is 
Um, this is an adaptation of Frederick Bastiat's book, The Law, which you can also get on the Tuttle Twins website. Um, I will link my affiliate link in the box below. Um, so there's that. You should get that because they're amazing. And Connor really does a good job at um, setting up really good deals to make these books affordable for people. Um, okay, another thing I like to pick up, this is just a random one that we have laying around. I like to pick up these um, little Dollar Tree uh, workbooks that have got, you know, little activities about states or about presidents or um, geography or um, just Amer general American history. These are super helpful to just give somebody like a busy thing that they need to do. And if we're going to go to another state, we've got this book and we've got this book here. Um, if we're going to go to another state on a road trip or whatever, we will pull these books out. The kids will do an activity. They like to read about the state that we're going to. And then they know a little bit before we get there. Um, and they're super duper helpful. And then they also help with geography. Um, we do like to have little fun uh, contests sometimes. We did one, I don't know, it was in maybe March or April where we did a 50 states, who, see who could, of all of the bigger people in the house, me and Travis included, who can remember all 50 states and where they are. And um, Mama's the only one who won. <laughs> Papa wasn't far off. Um, but it's it's definitely helpful to have this kind of stuff around because then kids are like, they're a little bit more understanding. And then especially if you are a road tripping family like we are, we don't fly anywhere. We've got too many people. We road trip everywhere we want to go. Um, it's really helpful if you're going somewhere that they know the geography so they know which way we're going to go to get there. I think it's super helpful. And of course, that's part of American history, learning about, you know, where, where places are in the United States. Um, let's see here. So next, I'm going to go to these books. These are the Dear America series, and they're from different time periods in American history. They're written as diaries from the perspective of different people. And um, we've got a few of them that I picked up at a thrift store at one point. I thought they were super cool. And the um, website Love at Home, Ed, they just put out a curriculum that she created off of these books. So I nabbed it, super, super duper deal. I think I paid $20 for it. Um, it's a digital download, so you you know you print it out yourself, put it into book form yourself, and I'm super excited to implement that in in the reading of each one of these. And these are read alouds um, that we do. And then a couple of other resources that I have, we have uh, obviously a pocket constitution, so we've got that. I've got a few just random general books. This one is How America Grew. Um, I can't remember who put this one out. Let's see. I don't know. I think it's just a generic. I don't know. If you know who put this one out other than what's on here, let me know. But it's just a general reference point that kids can look at. And it does have some question and answer at the end of each chapter. So I can always turn to this if I need it. Just a little bit more supplementation for some of the older kids. And then this one is really cool. This one is another um, really hands-on, um, thinking, action kind of oriented book. So it's got a lot of different um, activities that a student can do that implement writing for the most part. It's got the entire constitution in here. Um, and she gives the entire lesson plan for everything that you could do in it. It's really, it's really just pretty awesome. Um, my favorite American stories, it's Simon & Schuster put this one out. So this one's really helpful just to give another extra little oomph for your students. Um, another few that I've picked up, I've got, I picked up the Atmosphere of Learning bundle and I know that that has some history stuff in it. And I have a notification for when the Good, the True, and the Beautiful history comes back into stock because if you didn't get it early, you didn't get it. It's out of stock. They did make the first four weeks available for each of their levels, but um, I didn't get them in time. So I'm waiting for the Good, the True, and the Beautiful. I mean, the Good and the Beautiful to come out. Sorry, the Good and the Beautiful to come out uh, with their restock of their history. And then one more thing that I utilize, you can find on Teachers Pay Teachers, are bell ringers. 
And these are really cool because there's a few different people who put them out. I like the ones that I've gotten. This is Zoe's from last year or last spring that she didn't finish. We, you know, everything kind of ground to a halt when COVID kind of hit everywhere. But it just gives them a little blurb just to get their brains going with writing. And um, there's Monday is, you know, something about the military. It's just a, uh, like a, a prompt, a writing prompt for each one of these for for Zoe's bell ringer. And we, we go through you know, like Watergate scandal. There's rad women and bolt was it bold men, daring men, um, and opinions. It's asking it asks children to really work on you know what their opinions are. Um, so this is a by decade, and we haven't we haven't started from September. We only started these bell ringers in February. But I really, really like it. And I've actually gotten questions in my DMs about these. And so I'll show you just a little bit. This is from Zoe's in February. And so she got to write about Daring Men, John F. Kennedy, um, you know, participation trophies. Should people receive them? She wrote about that. Wrote about the Great Elastic Earth, Alaska Earthquake. Elastic Earthquake. Oh my goodness. I need something, caffeine or something. Martin Luther King Jr., Muriel Siebert, fashion, even Jackie Kennedy and fashion and country music and natural disasters and wars and the Apollo 11 mission and I mean just all sorts of different topics in each decade this one talks about. Not necessarily, you know, foundational history like, you know, Civil War, um, Revolutionary War or even Mayflower issues, but like m more contemporary history and then Degory's is very much the same but his is a little bit more about like politics and uh like compare and contrast the two major parties in the United States is it just me or is my camera really blurry I'm gonna just clean this off guys um compare and contrast the two major political parties or and he'll we'll get back to these bell ringers but we're gonna start with the September uh packet and uh so like talking about propaganda and the three branches of government. So these are really good to get um, some critical thinking skills and growth mindset sort of action with the way kids learn. And um, those bell ringers, I think I paid about 16 bucks for them on Teachers Pay Teachers. And then anytime they make updates to them, that update download is free. So um, that's it. That's what I use. And I'm really excited about doing history this year. It's going to be super duper fun, yeah. and um, we have a lot of things to do. We're going to make relief maps. We're going to um, do some cartography in here, too, and some geography. So that's, that's it. That's our American history slash civics slash geography for this year. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll link everything I said I would link below. And give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you around. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.